a pentagonal pyramid 30 mm edge of base and 60 mm height stands with its base on the ground and an edge of base perpendicular to VP. A section plane perpendicular to HP and inclined at 30 degree to VP cuts the pyramid at the at a shortest distance of 5 mm from its axis and in front of it. Draw its sectional views also show the true shape of the section. So this is a problem involving sectioning process. So the very first step is draw the symbol top view and symbol front view using type B lines. After this we will be locating the section plane. So here one of the edges of this top view it is perpendicular to the xy line because in the question it is mentioned that the base edge is perpendicular to vp so that is why this edge is made perpendicular to the xy line so perpendicular to the xy line means perpendicular to vp in the top view so here it is resting the pyramid is resting on its base so that is why the base shape is in the top view and the other shape is in the front view so after drawing the symbol front view and top view let us draw the section plane so we have to locate the section plane here so where the section plane is located a section plane perpendicular to hp and inclined at 30 degree to vp cuts the pyramid at a shortest distance of 5 mm from its axis and in front of it so the section plane is the section plane is perpendicular let us assume that this ruler is our vertical plane and this knife is our section plane so here section plane is perpendicular to hp so perpendicular to hp means it will be like this or it can be like this also so if it is perpendicular to hp the section plane will be visible as a line in the top view and it has got some inclination with respect to vp and that inclination is 30 degrees so you have to make this section plane approximately some 30 degree inclined to the corresponding vp and where this section plane is sectioning the solid it is sectioning the solid 5 mm from the axis and in front of it so po is the axis so from this axis approximately 5 mm so somewhere here it is cutting the solid uh, somewhere in this location so this is the location of the section plane now we have to so the distance of the section plane with respect to the axis which is po in the top view which seems to be a point in the top view is 5 mm now let us observe how we can draw or locate this section plane so in order to locate the section plane follow this procedure so using your protractor let us take an angle of 30 so you place the this point on the axis now let us take an inclination of 30 degree with respect to the axis now draw a thin line which is passing through the axis thin line which is passing through the axis so the inclination of this line is 30 degree with respect to the vertical plane or the xy line but now it is passing through the axis but in our case our section plane is located 10 mm in front so with respect to this 30 degree line let us take a distance of 10 mm so, uh, sorry let us take a distance of 5 mm so let us mark a point 5 mm in front of this 30 degree line 5 mm in front of this 30 degree line and through these two points which are 5 mm in front of this 30 degree line let us draw our section plane as a thick line Now we have located the section plane 
so the like section plane is located 5 mm in front of the axis and as this line is already 30 degree inclined to the vert xy line this line also will be 30 degree inclined to the xy line so the inclination of the section plane with respect to the xy line or with respect to vp is 30 degree so let us mark that inclination also The section plane is drawn as a continuous thick line inside the solid as a chain line outside the solid and the ends of the section plane are thickened. Here it is written as horizontal trace because when the section plane is sectioning this solid and as the section plane is perpendicular to HP it will be having a meeting point with respect to HP. So that is why we, this plane is represented in the top view with a horizontal trace. and. In this case, it is in this particular direction. Here I have marked an arrow head. It is in this direction we have to view this solid in order to get a clear idea of the section plane. Now let us mark the meeting point of the section plane with the various base edges and slanting edges of the solid. So here the section plane and AE is meeting. Here let us mark it as 1 section plane and PE is meeting let us mark it as 2 PD and section plane is meeting here let us mark it as 3 and DC which is a base edge is meeting with the section plane let us mark it as 4 so we have got 4 points now let us transfer all these 4 points to the front view out of which 1 and 4 is along the base 2 and 3 are along the slanting edges here one is on edge AE. So in the front view when you notice AE it is a point. So here this is a point because AE is perpendicular to VP that is perpendicular to the XY line. So point 1 will be exactly here itself. So let us mark this point as 1 dash. Now 4 is also on a base edge. So it is on base edge DC. So let us extend projectors from 4 to the base edge DC in the front view. So this will be point 4 dash. Let us transfer 2 and 3 to the front view. 2 is on slanting edge P E. So this is P dash E dash in the front. So this point is two dash. Three is on P D. So this is P dash D dash in the front view. So let us transfer it. So this point is 3 dash. So after obtaining 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash. Now we have to join 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 1 dash using thick lines. After joining it, the next step is draw hatching lines inside this region 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash because this is a section surface. So hatching lines are to be made at an angle of 45 degree with respect to the XY line and they, they must be equally spaced and they must be thin lines. After the hatching process, the next step is mark the remaining regions in the top view along with the remaining regions in the front. So after the sectioning process, this region here which is in front of the section plane will be removed and this region which is behind the section plane will be remained. So let us mark it one by one. So 1A is remaining. 1A, it is a base edge. So here 1A is already there. AB is remaining. So 
to a b already a b is marked here b c is remaining and let us mark b c c4 is remaining already we are having c4 here now let us consider the slanting edges p a is completely remaining so this is p dash a dash remaining portion is already darkened p b is remaining here point b is invisible so p dash b dash also will be invisible so we have to mark it as a dashed thick line p c is completely remaining so p dash c dash in the front view now P three is remaining, so P three is along P D. So this is P dash three dash. So here we are having an overlap. So only one continuous thick line will be able to represent here. Again, P two is also remaining. So P two. Already we are having P dash two dash here. So we have completed remaining regions in the top view and front view. now we have to draw the true shape of the section so why we have to draw the true shape of the section in this case when you are observing in this direction from the front as the section plane is having an inclination with respect to vp which is 30 degree 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 1 dash is our section surface the true dimensions of this section surface will not be visible in the front view so here 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 1 dash is a section surface but we are not able to get the true dimensions of this section surface so in order to get the true dimensions of the section surface we have to view this section surface in a direction which is perpendicular to the section plane so this is the section plane so you have to visualize it in a direction perpendicular to the section plane so what we are going to do now is we will be reconstructing this section plane onto the right hand side that is 1 2 3 4 these points will be drawing it onto the right hand side and we'll be making this 1 2 3 4 line so this line it will be drawn parallel to the xy line that is we will be making the section plane parallel to vp that is parallel to the xy line so we shall reconstruct this section plane onto the right hand side so let us measure it it is approximately 42 whatever value you are getting you draw it as such so this end let us mark it as 4 and this end let us mark it as 1 now you have to mark 2 and 3 also to this section plane we shall do it using compass so one two distance is measured using compass so this will be point 2 and one three distance is also measured using compass so from one this will be this point will be 3 let us mark Now let us mark these points as two and three. Now we are going to draw projectors from one, two, three, four to the front view. Again, extend projectors from the front view to the right hand side. So here this point is one, and this point is also one. So here we will be obtaining point one. So let us mark it as one. Again. this point is 2 from point 2 let us extend a projector 
So this is the projector of point 2. Let us extend it only up to this line. So this point will be 2. Now this is the projector of 3 and here we have got point 3 dash. So this point is 3 dash. Again this is the projector of 4. 4 is along the base. So this point itself will be 4. Now we shall join 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 1 using thick lines. Now we shall hash this inside region using 45 degree lines. In all the previous problems that we have done in case of sectioning a solid, we had the section plane parallel to BP. So that is why we obtained a true shape in the front view. But in this case, as it is inclined, we need to construct the true shape separately using the procedure mentioned. So I, I shall repeat the procedure once again. Draw the symbol top view and symbol front view using type B lines, step number one. After that, locate the section plane as per the question. Third step is mark the meeting points of the section plane with the various base edges and slanting edges of the solid as 1, 2, 3, 4. Transfer 1, 2, 3, 4 to the front view. Then join 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash and 1 dash as the inside region, draw the remaining portions in the top view and draw the remaining portions in the front view. And after that, we have to construct the true shape of the section. So here, true shape is constructed by straightening the section plane. This line 1, 2, 3, I have just made it straight here. The distance of this line with respect to the XY line, it can be any distance. It can be either nearer to the XY line or it can be away from the XY line. The distance doesn't matter. Only thing you have to make sure that this line must be parallel to the x y line. So after making it straight, we will be extending projectors from this 1, 2, 3, 4 and we will be extending projectors from 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash and we will be joining it in order to get the true shape and you have to hash the inside region.